Hey Turtle Squad, Kamei Turtle here, bringing you another Turtle Time. So I went into my local GameStop the other day and spotted what could only amount to a game targeted towards furries or at least those who are fans of the anthropomorphic characters. And that got me thinking, why not show you guys five furry related games on shelves right now in stores? I know you're probably thinking there's not gonna be that many, right? Don't worry, I found at least five. So we're going to do a react video today. I'm gonna to be watching the trailer to all five of these games. I have never seen the trailers all the way through before, so we're gonna have fun with this. If you want to see the full length trailers, each one will be in the description below. Be sure to check out later. Okay, are you guys ready? Here we go. All right, first up we have Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart, the newest Ratchet and Clank game. This one is rate E10 plus. Members of the resistance. All right, it's looking good. Oh. Just me. <laughs> wow. Another comeback. Pilot me, please. Okay. We didn't follow that long back since we went across dimensions just to get stopped by some fuzz balls. Nice, nice. Ooh. All right. So, after watching that, I think, based upon graphics, it was a nice watch. Story presented inside of the trailer itself had a solid story going for it. And how likely would I be to play this game, assuming I had the console for it? On a scale of 1 to 10, this is a solid 9 for me. Alright, let's move on to our next game, Bio Mutant. This game's rated T+. Plus. Let's react to it. Okay, that's looking good. A giant remote. What's up with this? Huh? And okay, it's looking good. It's looking nice. Oh, oh, what's the control it? Oh, all right, bye, mutant. Graphics are top notch in my opinion. Storyline presented inside the trailer, well, there was no real storyline presented. So that's going to hurt it in the overall opinion. Don't get me wrong, it looked like a great world. But I want a story. So overall, I would be about a 6 to 7 on the scale on how likely I would be to play this game. All right, we're moving on to another well-known game. At least within the furry community. It is Crash Bandicoot 4. It's about time. Okay, let's react. It's looking good. Go, go. Oh. Zero gravity. Ooh. Both are looking good. <laughs> Rocker. 
<laughs> How many times have you beaten this clown anyway? Three. <laughs> really? Only three? All right. Graphics are really up there. Story presented in the trailer. Well, it was kind of a loose base, but if you follow the Crash Bandicoot news series, you know there's a story behind it. However, in the trailer itself, there wasn't a story. They really presented it. We know a bad guy, how to do his bad stuff, and our heroes are out to stop him with what appears to be masks. As for overall opinion, I found it hilarious throughout the trailer. So I'm going to place it at an 8 or a 9 on the likelihood of me playing it. Okay, now this, this right here, here was the game that inspired this video. I have absolutely no idea what I'm getting myself into here. It is called Chicken Police. Painted red. Let's react. Is ready to M? Have you ever been with oh, a wow. predator before? Well. Well. Small case. We'll wrap it up in no time. What kind of case? The kind of case where if you come with me right now, you're not on duty anymore. Hey, I'm not joking, Sonny. I got a shotgun under the bar. Whatever happens, never fall in love with that woman. It... What am I looking at? And slowly I'll turn gray too. Not even you can see the world huh. is that black and white. Don't be scared. I'm just really, really, really excited. <laughs> it's okay. Okay. Graphics threw me for a loop on this one. Taking what appears to be humanoid frames, well, human frames, give it a realistic animal head and poor Muppet movement and with the jaw movement. What am I looking at here? story though the story it told it was exciting it caught my imagination oh once i get past the graphic i would say this is about a seven or an eight on likelihood i would actually play it i might still play it just to sit down and give a proper review on it because that this game right here is so out there i don't know what to think about it let me know in the comments below if you want to see me play this game, or at least review it. Now for our last contender on this list, it is Black Sad Under the Skin. Okay, let's review it. I hope this one actually give me something to work with. Alright, fluid motion. In every investigation there comes a point where every seems to go down the drain. to retrace your steps to mm -hmm. get back on the right track. It disappeared two days ago. Mm. Did you call the police? No, only you. In that case just might put me back in the game again. We're just talking about yeah. wrong answer, John. I lost another one of my nine lives. Got many left? Here's my incredible plan. Never leave destiny in the hands of fate. Oh, it's looking good. Your classic noir films and novels. Solving a case never amounts to a happy ending. Mm. I'm gonna kill you! That's my boy. I'm still waiting for the blows. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. The graphics are on the lower end. The graphics are on the lower end. Blocky, chunky, not real flowy. From what I can tell, story, spot on. Story is a great mystery. i am always been more of a run and smacky guy in my video games. But this last two games, more mind focused, playing detective, got me running. Story wise, I would have to say Black Sat is really up there. Likelihood I would play it, I'm giving this a solid 9. And just based on story. Let me know in the comments below 
How many of these games do you know of or played before? I honestly want to know. If you played them, what's your opinion on them? Or let me know any other furry related games that you think I should take a look at to do a reaction with. Speaking of furry related games, I recently did a video about Skylanders. You can watch that one in the cards above and description below. And if you just want to see my most recent video, check it out pinned in the comments below. If you want more awesome content like this, make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit that bell for notifications when my next video airs. Leave a like, maybe a comment, share this with friends, family, any other furry friendos you might know. And I hope to see you all next time. Johnny!